Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel! Or welcome if you are new. My name is Micah and this is where I hang out when I'm not doing other things like work or school or sleeping or playing video games or reading or writing, you know. You get the idea. This is um, a space that I come to uh, semi-frequently. I've been working on this weird idea that I had uh, for a few months. So if you haven't watched my last video, I graduated from my master's program, Woo! which means you can call me Master Micah. <laughs> but why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? I thought it would be very interesting to try and buy my own graduation gifts. I spend a lot of my money on getting gifts for other people, but I don't really buy anything for myself. So I thought it would be interesting to kind of push myself to do that. I am very fortunate to still have a job in the midst of everything going on. And I've been saving up a lot. And I just thought, hey, I've saved up a lot. And it would be really interesting, I think, to see what I would buy. I feel like for me, it's very hard to make decisions when it comes to purchasing things. I debate a lot in my mind about whether or not I need something or I want something because need and want is different, you know? I thought it would be interesting to have a budget of $1,000 to spend on things that I want, not I necessarily need. Everything in this video will be tallied up, you'll be able to see uh, the results, and I believe I ended up hitting that $1,000 mark and I went over by like 94 cents. So I think that's pretty good. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get started, I guess. <laughs> okay, so the first category that I have is art. When I was little, I wanted to be an artist and stuff like that, but I kind of gave up on that, unfortunately. But I still enjoy looking at people's art, watching them, you know, create things. And I just love supporting um, artists, especially smaller artists. The first thing they got was an art piece by an artist from Brazil, and their name is Todorossi, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I've been following their art for a while, so I thought it would be really cool if I could get a piece commissioned from them, and they said yes. Usually their turnover time is pretty quick, and oh my gosh, the results are amazing. I really love the small details, the coloring, and the shading. Oh, I could stare at this all day. It's just so cool. So thank you so much to Rosie for that. Follow them, they're really cool. I love their stuff. Okay, so the second thing that I got was an art piece by my friend Wendy. Both of us love Animal Crossing. I've been playing Animal Crossing a lot recently, um, you know, since everything. And I even had my graduation in Animal Crossing. She was actually there, which was really, really cool. I asked her if she could do a piece of my Animal Crossing avatar. I sent her some reference photos, um, as you do, and she created this beautiful little little angel, and I just love it. It's so cute, and I really appreciated that she actually added all of my um, birthmarks that are on my face. I don't know if you can tell under makeup and whatever, but I have a lot of birthmarks. They've been one of my biggest insecurities over the years. I've been trying to embrace them recently, so I asked Wendy if she would include these uh, birthmarks, and I like sent her a picture of my face and stuff, and she did, and that just made it way more personable to me. I think it's super precious. Please go check out her art. She's great. Love her. We stand. The last thing in the art category that I got was this amazing art piece by Pascal Productions. Spoiler alert, this is Zuko in season three. This is after he joined the gang. Other people grew up with, you know, Harry Potter and people grew up with Percy Jackson and some people grew up, you know, reading Twilight. Avatar The Last Airbender was like that for me. The Atla fandom has really re-emerged, I feel like, because the series got put on Netflix and people are re-watching it and some people are watching it for the first time. It is probably my favorite cartoon or like show of all time. I grew up watching it. I would rent the DVDs from my local library because we had like a movie section in there and I would rent them and I would watch 
all of them when they were coming out and I can't believe it's been like, what, 15 years? I found out about uh, Pascal Productions, uh, I think last year, because my brother followed him. He's from the same area as me, SoCal. When I found out he was doing uh, Avatar Last Airbender series, I was so excited to see like what he would come up with. And they were beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I actually was contemplating getting the original of this. Um, but I didn't because someone bought it right before me, but it's okay. And actually I got it cheaper because I bought a pack of six. Uh, one for me, one for my brother, one for my other brother, and then three for my cousin. A lot of people know Zuko because of his scar, like even in passing, if you don't know what Avatar Last Jedi Bender is, but you've seen some stuff, you know there's a guy with a scar. But I think number one, it's cool because if you know where the scene is from, then it's like you're a real fan, you know? And then also his unscarred side more fully represents where he was in his development as a person. So yeah, oh my gosh, I'm just so in love with this. It didn't come in this um, frame. I actually got this frame from Ikea. It's actually on um, a cotton, cotton surface. I could stare at this all day and cry and think about just how great of a character Zuko is and his character development and how he's like a parallel of Aang and it's just like, <laughs> leave me alone. I just wanna think about how great Zuko is as a character. Talented, brilliant, incredible. Make sure to check out Pascal Productions on, um, you know, all social media and also his store that's online. He recently released a uh, Studio Ghibli series. So if you're into stuff like that, and like anime, check out his art because he's top tier, top tier, top tier man. man. Okay, so going off of the whole art section and also um, Avatar the Last Airbender, I also got some books. The first one that I want to show you is this book, which is From Rufio to Zuko by Dante Bosco. He is a Filipino American actor, director, poet, he did a lot of on-screen stuff. He also did a lot of voice acting, and I realized that a lot of characters that I liked uh, from cartoons growing up were voiced by him. Like, for example, Zuko. Um, you know, American Dragon Jake Long. He played, obviously, Rufio from the incredible Steven Spielberg film, Hook. And he was kind of the first depiction of an Asian American from like my earliest childhood that I can remember or just like an Asian person on camera that did not play into the whole model minority stereotype. I'm a little over halfway done now with this book and I love it so far honestly. It's a really easy read. It's just him you know recounting his experiences working with different projects, him and his family, and what they experienced as Filipino Americans. It just resonates with me as someone who did grow up watching him, but also as a child of immigrants. Well, my parents were refugees, but immigrant kids, you know? And also because he's just such a big Asian American icon. This book comes in two different covers. So I got the Zuko one, but there's also a Rufio one. I love this book. It's, it's great. I've really been enjoying it. And the other book that I got is also uh, Last Airbender related, and it is the art of the animated series, the official Avatar Last Airbender art book. I've always wanted this, like since I was little. The commentary is really interesting. I love the art that they show, seeing the initial drawings of characters, the way that they designed all of the really massive establishing shots, so interesting and like the coloring, and they even show like details of side characters, which is like, I don't know, you wouldn't think that they would add that. Even things about like how they animated the bending and where they took like reference from and stuff like that. Honestly, I was kind of afraid that this book would rehash a bunch of stuff that I already knew because I'm a really big Last Year Bender fan and I watched, you know, the documentary, the pseudo documentary online. I've seen art and uh, forum stuff, but yeah, I was, I was just worried that I would see a bunch of stuff that I've seen before, but I didn't. And it's full of a bunch of stuff that I didn't even know existed. You know, I never would have gotten this just on a whim, because uh, I usually save up all of my money, but <laughs> I'm so glad that I did this video because I finally have this and I'm just, I'm just so happy because I just, I love this series with all my heart and I'm sorry, I'm getting like really weirdly emotional. I'm just so attached to it and I love the characters. 
and the art. So yeah, this is the other book that I got. I'm very happy that I got this. All right, the next category of things that I got is electronics. So the first thing that I knew that I wanted was some kind of wireless earbuds. I didn't want them for sound quality. I have in-ears for playing bass on stage and listening to music in a higher quality. Um, so I don't need them, but it was just something that I always wanted because casually I just want to listen to music and not bother with like getting stuck because I would get caught in a lot of things. So I was in the market for some kind of wireless earbud situation and I ended up getting the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. And the main reason that I got these was because of the insane battery life. But yeah, I wanted to get black mainly because, you know, it fits my whole aesthetic. And also, I learned that in college, uh, sometimes you can listen to music while listening to your lecture and people won't really notice because my hair is black. It's different if my hair was, you know, a different color. But I kind of wanted to stick to that, you know, whole sneaky vibe that I had <laughs> with my earbuds. So I ended up getting the black ones. It's very simple, pretty small. You're paying for a convenience and that's what I got and I'm happy with this purchase. I like being able to, you know, lay in bed, listen to ASMR, and not worry about choking myself to death when I fall asleep with, um, you know, earbuds in my ears and I wake up and it's like strangling me. And it just uses the same charger as like literally everything else that I have. Everything is USB-C now, so. So the next thing that I got was the HD60S capture card by Elgato. It was super hard to freaking find. It's like this whole deal, this whole story that I went through. They were sold out everywhere, you know, cause everyone's streaming. And then I saw that this one Target had it and it was in stock, like there's one left. And then when we checked, they didn't have it. I checked on Best Buy and they had one left. So I got it and it was actually like the plus. I ordered it and it didn't ship. And I really needed it because of my Animal Crossing graduation video. If I didn't have this, wouldn't have happened. I didn't get it from Best Buy, they gave me my money back, and then I just kept checking, you know? I wasn't sure if it was gonna come in time for like my actual graduation, and then I saw it in a Target website, and I, I got it. For me, I have a Nintendo Switch, and I also have a PS4, and it's compatible with both of these. It's very versatile, and you can use it on PCs and Macs. You can stream and record instantly on this, it's really, I feel like, user-friendly, the program that you use to record and stuff. It's free online from their website. All you need is actually to get the capture card. And this is the best you can get for your money's worth, especially if you're like starting out as a streamer or someone who's doing video game content. It shoots in 60 FPS uh, for video games. And there is little to no delay at all. So like, especially for streaming, that is, that is crucial for streaming, especially if you're doing like online games. So yeah, check this out if you are interested in, you know, getting a capture card. Okay, so the next category of stuff that I got is skincare and makeup. First thing that I got was the MetaHeal DNA Hydrating Protein Mask. This is not their most popular one. There's one that's more popular, which I really love, but I thought I would try something from the same line, just like a different version. So yeah, I've been using these sheet masks. I really like them. I do think that the hydration of these lasts pretty long. Um, longer than some of the other kinds of sheet masks that I've had. I feel like other ones, sometimes it's just like clear, but this one is like a bit of a thicker, creamier consistency. I like it. The next thing that I got is something that I definitely would not have gotten unless I did it for this video. The Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Divine Rose Eyeshadow Palette. I've been a fan of Pat McGrath Labs for a really long time. I just never thought you know, I'd be in a position to be able to get something from them. This is the limited edition version of this palette. This is the first one, because I know they released like a, a Divine Rose 2. First of all, packaging, beautiful. This is really heavy. Like, I could probably kill someone with this. Me showing this on camera will not do it justice. Most of these things are duochrome or like trichrome. The shades 
are beautiful and these are a bunch of shades that i don't have i don't own these and i feel like that's the main reason i got them over like the second iteration because the second iteration is beautiful but i have eyeshadow palettes that have similar colors already and i don't like buying things that are the same i'm a level with you very pricey but quality Chef's Kiss. Ratatouille Remy Rat Chef's Kiss Bro. So I got some stuff from Sephora. First thing that I got was a light flesh toned beauty blender. I have one of these, but I got it a few years ago. And also it's ripping. There's a bit of like discoloration in it too. Don't know what that's about, but I was like, okay, it's time to get a new one. I've had the other one for a few years. And also I got the Benefit Gimme Brow. My normal to go things is probably like Glossier and Anastasia Beverly Hills. I feel like it is more pigmented than my Glossier one. I haven't had enough time to really compare the two besides that. Yeah, I'm just giving this a try. Don't know if it's great or not. A lot of people like it, a lot of people prefer other things. And that's cool. It's all it's all preference, dude. It's all subjective. Next category is accessories. I got a new piece from Rachel. It's this necklace. This is the Joan necklace. And I love this font. Don't know what font it is. So like punk gothic. It fits my aesthetic. I don't know, I've never described clothes like this. It really spoke to me. I really like it. It said, hey Micah, I like you, you like me. Let's like hook up. So we did, and I got it. What Rachel does is they have like their essential line and then they have like restocks of different uh, new pieces and then they take those off and then they add new ones and they like rotate them. So this one's no longer available, but they probably will bring it back. Also, I just love Rachel and you all know this because I always talk about them. I also got another piece from Rachel and it is the Amanda chain, the Amanda necklace, which it was originally like $30, but I got it for like $2 because I got a gift card and also I got a discount because I graduated. So yeah, also there was free shipping that weekend. I wear this actually all the time. Like I was wearing this before I put this on, but it's so light and I love the look. I wouldn't wear it with this one, but this one's kind of like statement anyway, you know what I mean? But it's great for stacking with my other necklaces that I have, so I really like this necklace. And I really like this necklace. Thank you so much, Rachel and Nate, for giving me the gift card. Um, yeah, now on to the clothing slash accessory portion. I don't know what to call this. First thing, very obvious, is this bucket hat. I wore this a lot on the trip that I went on recently with my family because bugs freaking love me. Like my blood tastes good, I guess. So they bite me all the time. So I wore this to like protect my face and I had a mask and everything. I really like it. I've been wanting a bucket hat for a while. I don't know, the silhouette just looks nice with the length of my hair that I have now. I also got another hat from Kangol, uh, which is this Bermuda stripe beret. And it was actually on sale. I love sales. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. I had to get accustomed to seeing myself wearing this kind of hat. I've never owned or worn a hat of this style before. I like it. I like putting it to the side and like kind of pushed over. Free shipping on the website again. And I also had a discount. I'm actually not sure what discount was applied because I didn't like type anything in. I just got a discount for like, I don't know, 16 or something dollars. Um, so yeah, that was weird, but very appreciated. I love saving money. This is also made out of wool. And I believe I got this hat in a medium and I got this in a large. So the final thing that I got is this pair of boots that I've been wanting literally forever. These are the classic Jadens. They're not the Max. I was thinking about getting the Max ones, which have like way more height in the platform part, but I decided against it because I was thinking, you know, how am I gonna run away from people or fires? But yeah, I love the height that these give me. I also really like that they have zippers on the side so I don't have to freaking stick my foot in and like hurt my circulation trying to get my feet in. I actually really like pairing these boots with the Kangol Bermuda Stripe braid that I have. I don't know, they just pair really nicely together. 
um, kind of gives a more like military look. I like these a lot. I've been wanting these for a long time. They've survived uh, climbing up trees and going through woods and uh, trekking across towns and beaches. They're just, they're great. And they've kept up pretty well, honestly. Yeah, I really like these. I'm really glad that I got these. I, I've literally dreamt of these shoes like since I was little. But yeah, that's all of the stuff that I got. I didn't think I would be able to do this video. I like gave up several times. I, I just, I, it's hard for me to make decisions. Obviously it's a, a very first world kind of situation, but I was really happy that I had an opportunity that I gave myself to do something like this. It was self-love and a way for me to celebrate myself, which I think is very hard for some people to do. Uh, myself included. I was very introspective while I was doing this. So with that being said, I hope you guys are safe and happy and healthy and you know, if you're not, then I hope everything gets better. Honestly, truly. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!